Eclipse Shoulder Arthroplasty System. Resect the humeral head at the anatomic neck. This can be performed freehand or with provided instrumentation. Determine the required trunnion size by using the provided coring templates. The appropriately sized template should match the cortical rim without any overhang. The pins are impacted into the resection to hold the template in place. To prepare the humerus for the cage screw, the coring reamer is advanced until the depth stop touches the template. At this point, a resection protector is placed and a prosthetic glenoid can be implanted. Returning to the humerus, the coring template is repositioned and the centering device is placed into the template. The cage screw sizer should be driven through the centering device, taking care to reach but not perforate the lateral cortex. The cage screw size is read from the laser marked lines. Remove the coring template. If desired, remove the centering device and use trials to verify the trunnion size, humeral head diameter, and thickness. Return the centering device in place on the humerus. The trunnion is placed over the centering device, and the trunnion impactor and a mallet are used to seat the implant into the humeral metaphyses. The trunnion should have circumferential contact with the cortical rim without any overhang. Remove the trunnion impactor and centering device, and place the cage screw into the center of the trunnion. Using the trunnion impactor, put pressure on the trunnion to hold it tightly against the resected surface and advance the cage screw using the screwdriver. Once the cage screw is fully seated, remove the trunnion impactor and screwdriver. The appropriately sized humeral head implant is placed onto the trunnion and impacted onto the taper of the trunnion using the head impactor. After range of motion is assessed, the repair of a subscapularis peel can be completed using the knotless double-row eclipse speeds cap kit.